He wouldn't tell you this, but Thomas Wilkins is a big deal. The Omaha Symphony Music Director is in demand across mm -hmm. the country. And it's for concerts, just like the one that's coming this Sunday. The Family Series event is called Places to Go and Things to See. And T. Adam Goss works with the Symphony. Symphony, good to see you back here. Welcome. T. Adam Goss. Nice yeah. to have you, yeah. as always. I'm it happy is. to be here. I love coming and chatting with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's, it's good to have you. What, what kind of music is going to be a part of this concert? You know, this concert has some really wonderful music, and the whole thing, uh, and Thomas is great, is about using your imagination. Uh, so this concert features this music that really evokes these locations and these these distant places. Uh, we've got some great music by Aaron Copeland, Buckaroo I like Holiday. I this, by the way, of him nice riding. Nice character, sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, that's, that's pretty wheel. much what they're like. That's awesome. You know, we take the orchestra on the road with him, <laughs> just like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, but you know we've got we've got of course some wonderful Star Wars music mm -hmm. that will you know take us all to space and um, Buckaroo Holiday, uh, Stravinsky's uh, finale from the Firebird, which is this amazing piece, especially to hear live. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what's great with Thomas is that he really takes everybody on the ride and, and encourages the kids to use their imagination mm -hmm. with the music. Mm -hmm. It's really wonderful. So let's spend a second talking about Thomas. He's he's been here, and and those who know the symphony know him. But what makes him? like ideal for this kind of series, do you, do you know, think? You, you have to come and see him live. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the kind of person you walks in a room and you just want to spend time with his him. His energy, his, his smile. His energy yeah. is amazing. Uh, and from, from, a, from a family concert perspective, he understands what makes kids love music mm -hmm. uh, because and he loves music so much himself he just he's really great at inspiring that in other people mm -hmm. and also you never know what he's going to do at a family concert yeah. uh, he has jumped off the stage he has pulled kids up on the audience to to dance with him during <laughs> polkas um, awesome. it kind of keeps us all on our toes because uh -huh. we don't know what he's going to do <laughs> he's definitely um, he's passionate he has yes. fun yeah. and uh, he's just a cool cat he uh -huh. really you know is. What I mean? He really is. He's a wonderful person to spend about 60 minutes with, you know, in, in the orchestra. Is there Longer a, if we could. An but. age range for the show that's coming up? What do you think? Like younger than or older than? Where you would know, you put the really, audience? It's it's pretty great. These maybe steer a little bit older, but it's great music for the younger kids to come and hear mm -hmm. too. Like elementary to school kids would oh, love absolutely. it, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, and we love we love having the wiggles at these concerts. Uh -huh. So bring uh -huh. the little ones along. Uh -huh. they'll, they'll they'll enjoy the sound. They'll still too. have fun. You brought uh, some sandwich containers or something here. What I these, did. What are these well, for? you know, you know. What would you bring heck? in today? One of the things that we do on this family concert, which is great, is in the lobbies. Uh, mm -hmm. The like kids can come beforehand. Guys, it is a to-go container. It really said is. It's a sandwich. Yeah. That, yeah. Now you guys need to grab some of these rubber bands, though. Um, and what we do is we have a handmade instrument making workshop in the lobbies before the concert. So you. The kids are encouraged to kind of use their imagination uh -huh. and use those rubber bands any way you want. Did you tear this? Did you break that off? You could, you or you could just are there clam no shell rules? it and wrap it all the way around both. That I'm actually clam shell it. Yeah. That's what I'm do. Anything you can kind of want to do. I'd like for you to notice, T. Adam Goss, that I coordinated my rubber bands from I, my top. I, I did bring the did. pink ones Didn't do for that you. on accident. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna and so that's more. one way you could do. But if you listen closely, you get a little. Oh. And if you Where tighten the rubber it, bands, more bass. it is. <laughs> Hold on to the container, so kids. So that's what will be happening in, in the lobbies beforehand. Right. But we have these. We and other activities, I imagine. Other activities. I also, I also brought that for Mike. I thought he might oh, like thank the you. shaker. Oh. You know, I, I know you always wanted to play with us. So. Yeah, I love the honey shakers. You know. <laughs> yeah, what's in there? Just, just beads. 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 Just beads. So what else is happening in the lobby so before the show? We also have our instrument petting zoo before the show where the kids actually get to put their hands on real instruments. Uh -huh. And yeah. play and make and noise. And play and make about. noise. Is there a tuba? Are they Not a tuba. I do have a trombone out there, though. Okay. Oh. Good. And a That's French good. horn and uh -huh. a trumpet and trumpet. lots of violins for them to try. And they're making instruments in the lobby before the they're show, They're making too. instruments in the lobby. Can you take these then once you make them and take them into the show and play along or well, what? Not what do you do Well, you know what? Thomas may have them play them during I the show. This is why I I'm don't asking. know. Uh -huh. He may do that. But after the concert, every kid who's made a handmade instrument gets to come up on stage. Oh. And Thomas is going to conduct them in a little handmade instrument band. How cute. That's fun. Yeah, it's That's super fun. Well, they love getting idea. up on stage. Yeah, they're the center it's of attention. It's a cool place to stage. be. Uh, mm -hmm. You're preparing for your next family concert, what, in February? Yes, it's coming up mm -hmm. in February. It's there's Call a, of the Wild. And there's a contest that's happening right now. I don't remember you doing this before. Maybe no. you did, and I just didn't, don't remember it. But It's new. So the, the concert in February, um, we have a large screen above the orchestra, and are featuring uh, animal photography, nature photography, videos coordinated with the music. What we're doing, though, is having a contest for all of our audience members to submit their own 
wild footage, whether it's um, with animals or in nature or even their, their house animals, we'll mm -hmm. take that too. Uh, and we're going to take those submissions and, and put them into a video that we'll play at the concert with music. You'll need some time to produce that video, so is there a deadline to get uh, those pictures If they and go to our in? website, there's uh -huh. a deadline there. And so you can sub submit online too? You can submit mm -hmm. online, uh -huh. you just send us a link to your stuff and we'll, we'll, we'll take Here's it. Here's the site. Doing, yeah, there's a site right there, but you've been doing these family concert series for, for quite a while. What have you seen in terms of getting kids excited about music and uh, how many kids have you uh, has the symphony talked to have later come back and said the whole reason I'm into music is because I went to a symphony concert when I was young. You know it's great our resident conductor Ernest Richardson mm -hmm. has been here so long and he he tells me stories all the time that he'll be in the grocery store and somebody will come up and tell him I remember that time that I went to this concert mm -hmm. Um, and both him and Thomas especially, mm -hmm. they're great about just making those experiences so memorable mm -hmm. um, and speak so directly to the, to the students and the kids in the yeah. audience that it hits them and they remember that experience I, and yeah. take that with them. I remember that time I got on stage and played my sandwich rubber band <laughs> right? Exactly. Um, making it accessible not just in bringing a show for families but also in the way you price tickets, that they're $12 to see the Omaha Symphony at the Holland Center downtown. It's Sunday at 2 o'clock. Places to go and things to see. And remember, if you want your pictures or your video clips to be part of that show in February, swing by omahasymphony.org and upload them there. Thanks, Deanna. Thank you. Thank you guys so Great much. Great to see you, you made as the always. Stuff in, type of stuff in Kentucky, didn't you, when you were young? Yes, we, pl we played <laughs> spoons. Yeah. Oh, will you teach me? Growing I have up, never been yeah, able to figure out how to do it's that. It's all about finger placement at the handle. <laughs> If you, and we also made art out of string. Um, if you've